the increase in wealth led to separation. Genesis 13. Abram was blessed while he was in Egypt. He gained a lot of possession, as was mentioned in chapter 12. Now, Abram left Egypt because he was told to leave by Pharaoh when he found out that Sarai was actually Abram's wife. He went to Negev, which was located south of Canaan. And after moving around, he went back between Bethel and Ai, where he first was and where he built the altar. And he worshipped God for preserving him while he was in Egypt. Now, the blessing of Abram was also upon Lot. And Lot too increased in livestock and servants. What we can learn from this is that when you associate with true believers of God and they are blessed by God, you too can benefit from this blessing. Lot and Abram's possessions were so great that they could not remain together. There was even contention and quarreling between the herdsmen of Lot and Abram. The Canaanites and the Perizzites were also still living in the land at that time. So Abram advised Lot that it was best for them to separate and that he should choose any land he desired to settle in. If he goes left, Abram would go right. Abram wanted peace among his people and his family. Abram could have chosen the land that looked the best, but instead he allowed Lot to choose. This showed how humble Abram was. Abram had all confidence that God had called him and could provide for him. Lot chose the plain of Jordan, River Valley, which was very fertile, and settled near the city of Sodom. Remember the people of Sodom were very wicked and immoral to the highest point. What can we learn from this part of the story? Even though the area that Lot chose was very good for livestock business because it was so close to that city where immorality was at the highest. That would not be a good place to dwell near. This place could put his family in jeopardy. His children can learn and hear of what is happening over there and may, may even end up practicing those immoral behavior. Not everything that glitters is gold. It was obvious that the decision made by Lot here was not led by God. Sometimes you make a choice to move to a place due to financial opportunity, a chance to make a greater income. But this place can lead to your greatest temptation and if not careful, your greatest downfall. This was the worst move Lot could make. Abram, however, settled in the west of Canaan. Now, after the separation between Lot and Abram, God spoke to Abram again and told him that all the land that he saw from the east to the west, north and south, as far as his feet could reach, he would give to him and his offspring. God continued to remind Abram that he would make his offspring as the dust of the earth. My fellow listeners, it's a blessing to be in the hand of God. You may never be wealthy as Abram was, but I'm here to remind you that blessing is more than just temporal wealth. This blessing is a blessing that can extend from generation to generation. A blessing of wisdom, health, spiritual gifts, and ultimately eternal life. Abram then moved to Hebron 
and built another altar to worship the Lord. Abram had all confidence that the Lord will be with him to the end. When the Lord blesses us, always remember to give thanks. That's it for now, for a chapter a day. Until next time, take care.